hi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we're going to be doing a creative core flow and you'll just need a pair of blocks, bricks or something else that you can use for support here. So when you're ready, let's come down onto our backs. Take a moment here to let the body relax into the ground. Take a deep breath in through your nose. You exhale, open your mouth and let it go. As you inhale, gently bring your knees up into 90 degrees. As you exhale, imagine reaching for something that's ahead of you. Press the lower back into the floor, take a breath in. As you exhale, release the right leg to the earth. Inhale, back up. Lower back engage, keep lifting those heads and shoulders up. Breathing here. Next inhalation, come back to center as you exhale, release the head and the shoulders down and sway from side to side. On your next inhale, reach your legs up to the sky. You can Breath in here as you lift through the head and shoulders. As you exhale, right hand to left knee, release the right leg to the ground. Take a breath in here. As you exhale, come back to center. Inhale, lift everything up. Exhale, left arm to right knee, release the left leg towards the ground. Keep pulling out through the head and shoulders. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, go to the other side. One breath, one movement. Breathing in and breathing out. Inhaling, and exhaling, one more on each side. You can always rest when you need to. As you exhale, gently release everything to the floor. Bring your feet underneath your knees here. Bring a block between your knees. On the second, second fattest setting, Take an inhale, press your lower back into the ground, press your feet into the floor and lift your hips towards the sky for bridge pose. Stay here or release your arms into cactus by your sides, palms facing up. Keep squeezing the block here, squeezing the glutes. Take another breath in. As you exhale, release to the ground. Bring your block onto your knees and then bring your hands behind your head. As you inhale and lift up towards the sky, as you exhale, see if you can bring your legs out to straight, come down as far as feels good. Inhale, come back to center, try and keep the block where it is. As you exhale, release out. And as you inhale, come back in. Just do two more breathing, rest when you need to. Try and keep that lower back pressed into the floor, protecting the arches of the spine. And then when you're ready, exhale, release down. Let go of the block. Gently sway your knees from side to side. From here, either roll to one side or take a couple of rocks and rolls on the spine. Breathing in and out as you come up. Really protect your lower back here. Protect your spine, massaging each vertebrae. And the next time you come up, try and allow your toes to rest off of the mat here. And then lift up through your feet into Navasana boat pose. So squeezing those knees in, sitting up nice and tall. And then option to release your arms as well. Reaching out through the fronts of the fingers. Still squeezing up through the spine. You can flex the toes here if that feels okay. Breathing now, finding your breath long and smooth in and out through your nose. Seeing if you can take another two breaths here. You can release now whenever you need to. 
Journey across your shins when you're ready. Tuck your toes and step back to plank pose. Imagine pulling your mat apart here, slight bend in your elbows, and then looking slightly ahead of your hands. Another option is to release your knees down if you need a bit more support. Finding that strong pose with all 10 fingers spread wide on your mat. Take a breath in here. As you exhale, release your knees to the floor and then bring your elbows in towards the body as you come all the way down. Inhale to push back up and exhale to come all the way to the floor. Keep the elbows in, inhaling and exhaling. Last one, breathing in, breathing out, come all the way to the floor. Release your toes, inhale, lift your head and shoulders and then exhale, look over to the back. Inhale, draw back to center. Exhale, look over to the right, pulling the elbows back. Inhale in here, exhale, chin to the floor, tuck your toes, push, push up through your knees into downward facing dog. Slight bend of the knees here, pressing the earth away from you. When you're ready, inhaling, lift that right leg towards the sky. As you exhale, round the right knee towards the nose, come forwards to plank pose. Take an in-breath here. As you exhale, bring the right knee to the left elbow. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, right knee to right elbow. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, release the leg high. Take a breath in here. Take a breath out here. Inhale as you release down to the Take a breath in, lift your left leg to the sky. As you exhale, round that left knee towards the nose and take an inhale here. Exhale, left knee to right elbow, stay low in your plank. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, left knee to left elbow. Inhale to center, exhale, lift up to the sky. Take an in breath here. Take an out breath here. Inhale, release the leg back down. Exhale through your mouth. Inhale, ripple forwards into a plank pose. And then as you exhale, tip your weight over to the right. So option to stack your feet here as you lift that left arm up to the sky for plank pose. Side plank pose. Switch your gaze if you're feeling stable. I'm not today. How can we breathe into the body? Option to lift your left leg up as well, coming into this star shape. Kick out through the leg, breathe. As you exhale, bring that left hand back down. Round the left knee in towards the nose, crunch forwards. Inhale, step it back to plank. Exhale, tip over to the left side. Reach the right arm up to the sky. Option to lift that right leg up as well, breathing. Exhale, release the top leg down. Come back, round the right knee in towards the nose. Take an inhale, lift it up to the sky. As you exhale, bring it back to the floor. Inhale, bend your knees and look forwards. Take a jump to get to the front of the mat. As you inhale, lift through your heart space. And as you exhale, fold over the legs. Bring your blocks to the outside edges of your feet. And then sit down into Malasana squat pose here. So bring your feet a little bit wider. Bring your hands into your heart center. Take a deep breath here. And then as you exhale, bring your hands to the ground and come and sit down on the floor. Nice. Come down however feels good. Bring your hands underneath your knees. Inhale, lift back up into the mat and work pose. Option again to release your hands, and if you're feeling super strong, you can straighten your legs. Five breaths here. Soften the muscles of your face, strong and slow breathing. As you exhale, cross your shins here. Bring your hands to the block, press through the block around the spine, lift up through your seat option to see if you can lift one leg up. Breathe here. See if you can lift both legs. And then exhale, come down. Inhale, come back to Navasana. Really nice. 
Take your version today. Maybe you have your hands underneath your knees. Breathing slowly through your nose. As you exhale, cross your shins again. Inhale, bring your hands down to the block. Exhale, round the spine, lift up. See if you can really press the ground away, lift one leg, lift the other. And then exhale, come back down. Last time for Navasana, breathing in. Smiling as you know it's the last one. Noticing your breath. And then as you exhale, cross your shins again. I'm gonna turn around. Keep your hands on your blocks as you step back to plank. Breathing here, spread through the shoulder blades, it's like bending your elbows. On your next exhale option, bring your knees to the floor or come down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing or back bend of your choice, hands on the block. Exhale, lift it up to downward facing dog. Option again to keep your hands on the blocks here, that can just give you some more space in the shoulders. And then gently bring your knees to the floor, super slowly, hovering the knees off of the ground with a supercharged tabletop position. And then exhale and releasing down. Take hold of one of your blocks and bring your L-shaped finger onto the outside edge. Then bring your elbows to the floor. Take a breath in, push up through the elbows and the forearms into dolphin pose. Maybe walking your feet in closer. And then you can stay here as an option or take an in-breath and try and bring your nose towards your thumbs. Exhale, push back up. Inhale, come forward. And exhale, push back up. Just do that two more times. Feel the earth press away. Feel the shoulders. And then let's all meet back in dolphin and come down if you need to. Option here to lift your right leg to the sky just like we did earlier. Point or flex your toes and try and lift the legs super high here, coming onto the tippy toes of your left foot. Where's your breath? To heavy exhale, come down. Inhale, lift the left leg high. Keep pressing the earth away from you, head is not touching the ground. One more breath here. As you exhale, release, and then bring your knees to the floor. Keep your forearms down and then push up slowly through the hands, lifting the elbows into tabletop. Take an inhalation, drop your belly. Take an exhalation, round your spine. One more time, breathing in. And one more time, breathing out. Beautiful. Bring your forearms back to the floor here. And then press up into this, just elbows lifted off of the ground. I'm gonna stay and breathe here. So good for strengthening the ribs. Imagine pulling your hands back on the mat. And then inhale, push all the way back up. Exhale, lift your hips back to down with facing dog. Bend your knees, look forward, step or jump your feet towards the front of your mat. And then we're gonna have a play with our crow pose. So a few options here. You can just have your hands on the ground, bend the elbows and bring your knees and alternately lift each toe. Or if you're a little bit more comfortable in your crow pose, you could try having your hands on your blocks. And if you're doing this, then Bring the knees towards the armpits. This will just give you a little bit more height 
Lifting one foot, then the other. Pressing up. Maybe you're just still working with that first pose and that's okay. Zip up through Mola Banda, engage the pelvic floor, and then exhale, come back down. Bend the knees, release the forehead, the neck, the jaw towards the earth. When you're ready, gently sit your hips down towards your heels, one on the last and a squat pose. And then clasp a hold of your hands and circle them around to release your wrists. Remember, you can always sit on a block here, especially if we have tight hips and it doesn't feel good to sink down. Take your time to come and sit on your mat. Breathe in, reach the arms up. Breathe out, bring the hands into Anjali Mudra at your heart center, pressing the heels of the hands together. Let's take three breaths together here, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, and breathing out. Inhale to the belly. Exhale, relaxing the face. Inhale to chant the mantra on. moment to be grateful for your body and all of its wisdom and bring your hands to your third eye bringing the wisdom of your heart to the wisdom of your head namaste thank you any questions then let me know and if you like this video remember to give it a like and I hope that you enjoyed it.